The flat earth is flat out wrong. The spotlight sun model fails to predict where the sun is in the sky while viewing the sun from the ground 99.9% .9 of the time. This is easily demonstrated for sunrise and sunset in the southern hemisphere during its summer. Take New Zealand on the 22nd of December. New Zealand during sunrise. So this area is night. This area is sunrise. And at the time of sunrise, the sun is over South America, midday in South America. And which direction would you need to face to be able to see the sun? So just to prove that the sun is over South America while it's sunrise in New Zealand on the 22nd of December, uh, this information comes from the timeanddate.com. You can look it up. So back to this flat earth model. According to this model, which direction should you face to be able to see the sun at sunrise? Do you face northeast as this map is indicating? Actually, that is wrong. The correct direction to face is southeast. Now I can hear you saying, that makes no sense. Why would the sun be in Antarctica? And you are correct. It does not make any sense. And the only reason this is the correct direction to look at is because the Earth is not a disk. The Earth is a globe. And on a globe, it does work. On a globe, if you look southeast, you're actually looking at the sun over South America. And in order to explain this, I will give some examples from the Northern Hemisphere, and then we can come back to New Zealand. Now, an example from the Northern Hemisphere, so we can understand what's going on here. We're in London, England, the 22nd of June, right? And you want to know, while it's sunrise in London, England, the sun is right overhead, 23 degrees north, near the Philippines. Now, if you want to look for the sunrise, which direction would you face? Would you face south? Would you face southeast? Or would you face east? Or would you face northeast? And the correct answer is you face northeast. Now, you might think this sounds very strange. Why would you be looking northeast to see the sun, which is southeast? Isn't London more north than the Tropic of Cancer? Isn't London more north? It doesn't make any sense. Why would you be looking northeast? And the answer is because this flat map is fooling you. The world is not flat, it's actually round, and the correct direction to look for sunrise is northeast. And we'll explain that with a 3D globe. Let's bring another example. Here we have Alaska. Alaska, which on the, June the 22nd, which is the summer solstice, which direction would you face? Again, would you face south, southeast, east, northeast, or north? And the correct answer is northeast. Actually, it's closer to north, but it's between northeast and north, okay? And you will have a very, you'll be correct in being very surprised. Now, why would you be looking north, east, um, to be able to see the sunrise, which the sun is 23 degrees north of the equator, Whereas Alaska is many more degrees north of the crater, why would you be looking north to be able to see the sun? And this can only be explained by a globe and it cannot be explained by a flat map, nor can it be explained by the flat earther's map with the North Pole in the center. The only way to understand why it is that you have to look northeast in order to see the sunrise while the sun is right overhead at this point, on the Tropic of Cancer, 23 degrees north, on the 22nd of June, the sun is right overhead while it's sunrise in London, England. Why would you look northeast if the Tropic of Cancer is many degrees south of London? Here's London, here's the Tropic of Cancer. Why would you look northeast to be able to see the sun which is right above here? The answer is we need to draw a line on the globe and see 
what happens. So let's take a ruler and we're going to draw a line from London, from London all the way to the Tropic of Cancer where the sun is at midday. All right, save that. Okay, and let's have a look. That is a straight line. It looks curved, but it is actually a straight line. If a flop pilot was flying along this route, he would not turn. It's an actually an, a straight line. Now let's zoom in back on London. All right, let's have a look at London. And if you look at London, let's zoom back in on London. And if you look at London, you'll see we have to face northeast. If a pilot was taking off from London, he would face northeast to reach the globe, to reach where the sun is right above their head. All right, so let's try to explain this again. Let's say I'm a pilot and I'm going to take off from London and I'm going to zoom in zoom in and um, we're going to go along this line and see even though this is north this line over here is north but we're going to fly northeast we're flying northeast northeast and we continue flying and all of a sudden even though we haven't turned right or we haven't turned left we reach the Tropic of Cancer the same thing applies to Alaska in order to find out the correct direction one will take from Alaska to where the sun is right on top of your head, we will take the ruler and we will start in Alaska and we will move the globe until we reach the point where it was right on the tropical cancer, right there. So Okay, and this is a straight line. It's a straight line. On a flat map, it looks like from Alaska to Africa, you need to go southeast. Why is on the globe do you have to go northeast? So there's a tool on Google Earth. We can measure the distance from there to Africa. And as you can see, the tool tells us to go northeast, go over Greenland, and come back to Africa. And that's exactly what we see on the globe. We go northeast, go over Greenland, and reach the Tropic of Cancer, where the sun is right overhead. Now, getting back to New Zealand, why do we have to face south east in order to see the sunrise on the 22nd of December? Why don't we face northeast? The reason why we face southeast because that is the direct route to where the sun is overhead. So let's get the ruler once again, place it over Christchurch, and pull it till it reaches. Tropic of Capricorn, and let's go back. All right, and now let's have a look at New Zealand. And once again, you have to look southeast to reach the Tropic of Capricorn, where the sun is going to be right overhead. Now, this only works on a globe. It does not work on a flat map and it does not work on the flat earth map. It only works on a globe. So if you're in New Zealand and you are looking southeast, you're looking into space exactly where the sun will be. All right. And if a pilot took off from New Zealand and went along this route, the southeast, he will eventually 
reach exactly where the sun is right overhead. And as I said in the previously, the sun is not sitting right on top of this spot. It's 93 million miles away. But if you want to know where in space the sun is, you have to look at sunrise in New Zealand, look straight ahead, and that's where the sun will be. And therefore, that is why the sun is straight overhead in South America. So this only works on a globe. If we go to a flat map, such as the Mercado projection, it makes no sense why New Zealand, you face southeast. All you're gonna do is hit Antarctica. Now the same thing applies to the flat earth map. Now the flat earth map, this map over here with the North Pole in the center, we know that the sun is right on top of South America during sunrise in New Zealand. Yet we do not look northeast to see the sun. We must look southeast to see the sun. And this does not work. So according to the flat earthers, why do you look southeast in New Zealand to see the sun? It makes no sense. Is the sun over Antarctica? How could the sun be over Antarctica and over South America at the same time? And the same thing applies to every single point on the globe. The flat earth map does not make any sense. In order to understand what's going on better, I've left a link in the description of a sun simulator. Now, if you look at the sun simulator, you can play around with it. And you'll see there's a north, there's east, west, and south. There's a little man in the middle, and there's also the path of the sun. So if we take a northern hemisphere, which most um, flat earthers will be familiar with, um, and we go to, let's say, winter time, the sun rises southeast, where it sets southwest. That's pretty understandable. However, in the summer, what many people in the might not realize is the sun actually rises northeast and sets northwest even though if you look on the map over here the sun is lower than you more south than you but you have to actually look at sunrise northeast so that as i explained previously that's why that is but in the, if i go to new zealand again if we go to the summer of new zealand you have to look southeast and that doesn't make sense because southeast from New Zealand looks like it's Antarctica but it only makes sense on a globe it does not make sense on the flat map so this proves that the flat map is wrong if it was right you should be looking northeast to see the Sun but you actually look southeast and the same applies to every southern location so in short the flat map cannot predict where to look for the sun. The only model that predicts where to look for the sun, where the sun is at sunrise, where the sun is at sunset, at, and in fact, where the sun is at any time of the day, the only model that actually explains what's going on is the globe. The flat earth model does not explain what's going on and therefore it is wrong.